Hey guys, Fast from X Force again with Scott from X Force, and today we've got some really nice pieces oh, yeah. of work here. So these particular gel blasters are made in very low numbers, and we were able to secure ourselves a very limited supply of amount. The Colt Peacemaker, single action army, single action army Colt Peacemaker. Okay. Revolver from 1872. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's not from 1872, but um, it's really cool to see these coming into um, the country as a gel blaster because mm. they are just. Guys, if you look at it and go, that looks cool, let me tell you, it is mm. cool. Like, very much. They are very nice. Um, the action, everything's like, yeah, just so, you know, half cocking, and then, yeah, shooting, oh, everything just, it's just so smooth it's and so beautifully cool. well made. Yeah. Um, even photos, and uh, when we bring you closer for a look, <clears throat> they won't do these justice. Uh, mm. You'll definitely have to come in very quick, because I think we only got like... Yeah, we got like very limited. Yeah. I think we got like, each color, we got like four or five. And one's so, already gone. One's gone. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So very, very sought after. Now, a lot of guys are saying, you know, I know uh, when they were brought in, they were whinging, oh, how come they don't get more in? All right, so this is what happens. Alec Baldwin shot that many yeah. people with him. <laughs> it's all Alec's fault. Alec, damn Alec. Um, so wing gun... The guys that do these, uh, I well, I believe they must have so many orders. They actually allocate how many go to each supplier or customer. So uh, they only allocated, I think, about a hundred. They literally will not sell you more, or didn't sell these guys anymore because um, that's only how many they could get. Because they're popular they're very popular so i'm guessing they can't make them quick enough for mm. the orders um all right so being also being a small market as we are here in australia with the gel blasters nobody's going to put too much effort mm. into selling too many and plus we're not going to order too many at one time because they're not going to move they might not move and it's a lot of money they're not the cheapest all right so let's get to the basics now um one thing's for sure they are i mean i know when i look at it they look really weird the the, the grip just looks odd love it you know it does i'm sorry but it looks odd it like it just looks it looks very uncomfortable it looks just weird but when you hold it oh it's a very natural feel it just yeah it is so natural so nice it's just oh it kind of just belongs there <laughs> Um, and you just want to keep spinning and doing silly stuff, but I won't because I don't want to drop it. Um, but, um, yeah, like even the feel and yeah, when you hold it, it's just, and the weight, they're actually quite a nice weight too. Hey. Pistol whip is oh, not out here with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they run on CO2, uh, they come with six shells because it's a six shooter because it's a six shooter and you also get restrictors these little things in there which you can use which are restrictors um i wouldn't bother but if you do wanna they shoot quite hard now we will do a shooting test we've done a couple one of the boys did it before um we don't want to say yeah this is what's gonna happen he got over 400 with it but um, with this being CO2, it does spit out a fair bit of uh, the gas as well. So it does throw the chrono off a fair bit. Um, mm. And if I'm holding the chrono, he's probably going to shoot me in the hand. So I will yeah. not be holding the chrono <laughs> with him shooting this. Um, but yeah, the way you load this, you open that, you half cock it, and then you can um, basically put it in there and then you spin it and so on all right 
Um, it is cool. It's very cool. Especially for people who are fans of like um, Red Dead Red Dead Redemption. Yep. Um, all your cowboy games, uh, big in the Wild West, so uh, cosplayers. Just, yeah, that'd be fun. Definitely hit a feud with them. Oh, if you're a cosplayer. Yep. Oh, man. If, I know a lot of guys, especially now, we've got the Winchesters, the liver oh. action. Now you got these. You can really get your cowboy. Uh... I reckon I've already <laughs> teased uh, Cam from my North Lake store about him. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's keen. There's, uh, <laughs> there's a Comic Con coming up at the end of March. Uh, there's mm. your chance to go in there and show off your... Six uh... guns are blazing. <laughs> Not actually a blazing. Yeah. All right, so, uh, look, construction. I used to go a lot more into detail about the, oh, you know, it's the quality of the build. Oh, it's solid. Everything, and most of this stuff is so solid today. It's, it's nickel plated, I think it was. Um, mm. it's, uh, I mean, it's full metal, obviously, except the grips and literally the whole handle here, most of it, just covering it. You've got these ivory sort of looking grips. That one is just a wood. It's a wood looking one or it's yeah. actually wood? It's a, uh, it's a wood look. It is a plastic It is a grip. wood, but yeah. Um, so, um, the little detail on it's nice. There's a little sheriff's badge on yeah. both of them. But they are very solid, you know, so this is mm. what I need to... To, to pull, you know, to, to take this off doesn't require a lot, but um, it clips in and it's it doesn't move. It's not like some of the other revolvers, especially because you've got to put the CO2 in here. The Wells one was notorious for it. Yeah, it um, just... It, the good thing with this, which keeps it as sturdy, mm. I think the SRC ones are a little bit more sturdy, but this has your, your actual tool to um, lock in your gas actually in the handle so you don't have to worry about another tool or a little wing nut so I reckon that's pretty handy yeah so a little bit more torque because it's a bigger handle um, to make sure you get it too thin when you actually put it in if you snap it off you'll be kind of pissed off that is beautiful so really easy really simple uh, we'll whack a, a CO2 in there soon enough a canister and we'll shoot a few off um, that's a really nice sound too. But it's just even the sounds, like, oh, I could do that all day if it just didn't the quick and the do dead. something to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just holding it and, and aiming with it, oh, it's just so good. Absolutely beautiful. Finish, weight, feel, you know. It's a great spy piece as well. If you are like your, your Western kind of fan, Just that, just that clicking, sorry, but you know. When you try to do something <laughs> professional, <laughs> um, um, yeah, they, they are really fun. Uh, we do have extra shells, I believe. Yeah, no. Yeah. Might <laughs> not. Um, um, playing Russian roulette with these, they will hurt because it's a CO2. It's going to hurt a lot. It's, it's better if he does it first. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. I've seen what they do to a can from yeah. like, seven meters away mm. um, beautiful pieces of work um, I will say that much they shoot well they feel good uh, they are not the cheapest don't ask me why we don't bring them in I just limited got a edition few. will always the less they make the more expensive it's going to cost mm. it does suck welcome to Australia if um, you don't like it don't buy it if you want a winch do it yeah. somewhere else I don't know really. with the gel ball as well um, Conversion, I don't know if it's done by them or by another agent. So if it goes a few too many hands, it is, what, it is what it is, guys. It sucks, but... Getting um, quick, because like you said, there's only about 100 in. Yeah. Um, um, until we, we get, uh, until we get, if we do get airsoft, we're just going to have to make do with um, getting whatever we can get our hands on. Just suck it up and getting quick really that's it. it it basically is that getting quick if you want one uh, they are awesome uh, come down if we do have one left in here and mm. you come down and you get to actually see it and feel it I guarantee you won't be disappointed um, you know I wish I could I could have at least 50 of them but uh, we can't 
there's really not a lot to say about them. And at the end of the day, it's it's a revolver that rotates and it shoots. won the Wild West. The Peacemaker. Peacemaker. It's called. You shoot enough people in the chest, it's going to make peace. <laughs> well, I, I, kept, I sort of kept thinking, why is it called the Peacemaker? Well, because you shoot the bad guy. We just shoot someone and not talk. You get peace. So you make peace. Oh, yeah. Until their friends come around. I'm going to bring you guys a bit closer. There's enough uh, yeah from, from us. So uh, bring you guys a bit closer to really have a good look at these. Um, and even these, even the shells are quite nice. Like They do come in a hard case as well, but it isn't a lockable container. So for your legislative requirements, um, always have a look at... Well, you we could lock. probably put a lock, you know, oh. a little bit bigger a little lock around lock. the handle. Um, that wouldn't be a problem. It is a nice little hard case with pluck foam. Yeah. So you can lock it in nice and, nice and tight. And, and the foam, there is this... Pluck foam. Yeah. Pluck out the bit you want. Huh? You can actually do your, your own cut out in there. Yeah. Okay, so there it is. Look at that. Cowboy, baby. Sheriff. Yeah. You go through there. There's a little tab. You lift that. It's simple. They just lift that and pops open. Sorry about all the fingerprints on the, on the chrome. Been playing with it for a I while. I got a little bit too excited. Anyone with OCD, I feel your pain. Yeah. <laughs> I'll um, clean it as soon as it's off camera. And you'll end up that pushes out the shells. In half cock. In half cock, yeah. So, like I said, very nice. Very nicely finished. And these are the shells. You can I'm probably... And that's uh, that's metal as well, by the way. Okay, and then there's your black now. As you can see here, with your uh, handle off. I said that's that's your key there. I mean, that's quite a nice finish on that, even on mm. that plastic. But yeah, all metal through there, the full thing, full body. And that has that kind of an old, worn look. Worn look. So it's quite nice. Like, this looks so much more legit. Absolutely beautiful piece. And that's we got a half cup. Scott's holding it with half cup with the. <laughs> You've been waiting as they <laughs> how many times do they say half cock and not get demonetized? Yeah. There's a great just the just the sound of it, like if we yeah. So that's really nice feather light trigger as well. Mm, beautiful. Alright, let's go shoot these babies. Hey guys, fast with uh, the Colt Peacemaker uh, by uh, it was Wing Gun, yeah. but I think I think it's it's a Humorex. Yeah. Um, so these are a CO2 gel blaster. Okay, not the airsoft version, gel blaster version. So we've put our bulb in. I've got our shells. Uh, Loaded. Loaded and I'll pop a couple off. We'll reload and then we'll put a few through the chrono. Um, this sounds so good. But I'm guessing that's, that's about done. All right. So now, with the loading, you can take them out. But we found you can't actually be lazy. Um, Still hit it at half cock. Half cock it. 
Just push them in there like that. Saves you time. Saves you time. Saves, saves you from taking that. You Would wouldn't you? have even taken them out by now. I've already lo reloaded. So that gets you back on the field, back in cool. the field quicker. So you can literally just have your loader in your hand. As you're running around, you can pretty much reload. You'll have limit, unlimited ammo with rounds. Uh, uh, makes it for a much more usable blaster. Because otherwise, if you think, oh man, a shell eject, like a shell. And load up, take loader, out. Load. Oh man, this thing's gonna be a pain. So, anyway, alright, so the idea now is to stay far back enough so that the gas doesn't throw off the. Some, a few more numbers in there. At least it's good, it shows how quick you can load it as well. numbers still with an average of 350 really yeah we had a 250 too I'm guessing that was probably just either a smaller gel or the part of one yeah but I mean having a look at that there's quite a lot of the 370 mark 360 370 370 so even a higher on the first one there was a three and four hundred nearly um, I'm happy to even say 360. Uh, it's a hard hitting blaster. Now, you might find that if if you source your gels, if you go through and you find the bigger ones, you make sure that when you put them into the shell, they're really like hard to get in. So they create that really good seal. You'll find that you're going to probably get better numbers. Uh, all in all, who cares? This thing's cool and it shoots hard. So, awesome piece of gel blaster. Chris said, awesome peacemaker of a blaster. Awesome peacemaker of a blaster. <laughs> um, and the other thing is, we haven't counted, but one of the boys was using it day and he shot annoyingly a amount. A lot. Uh, we're guessing around 200 shots a bowl. That is a lot. Now, um, I'm going to say anywhere between 100 to 200 is a very high possibility. I don't have a count. We haven't done it. Uh, and I ain't going to do it because I can't be stuffed. Uh, but anybody that does do it or has done it, please, please let us know. But it's crazy. It's just it, They're so efficient in a way of how many shots you get a bulb so it really makes it for a good you know bulb now we're actually selling a bulb or single bulb on special 120 and that was our non-branded one that was shot the yeah. crossman stuff should have a higher rating as well yeah we got the crossman so they're good stuff uh so even the non-branded stuff shoots plenty so for a dollar 20 or two dollars a bulb mm. what we're selling the crossman's at a hundred or two hundred shots that's cheap you know uh, and again your gels are pretty cheap so man, that's a, that makes for a very cheap hobby then uh, it kind of offsets the price of the um, 
the pistol. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully that was informative and, uh, you know, I told you enough. If any other questions, you guys got anything to add, leave us a comment below. Click that like button. We're going to have some more uh, really cool stuff coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, remember, stop and think. Put them puppies in a uh, case when you're going to and from the field. Let's keep it going. Stay safe. I'll catch you guys next time.